Hi there, it is Sylvia Dana with eXp Realty in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I'm here today to show you how to make your KB Core website compliant for the state of Texas. Now, I am not in Texas, but I've worked with several agents and several agents have asked me, how do I make my KB Core website compliant for the state of Texas? So I'm gonna show you that today. So the first thing I'm showing you is I'm on another Texas agent's website, and at the bottom of the front page, in the footer, uh, we've got these two links, one to the Texas Real Estate Commission Consumer Protection Notice, and one link to her IAES, okay? So that's what you're going to learn how to do. Put this on your website, and you're also gonna learn how to put it in your signature, because those are the, what I have learned is most important. Having these links right in front and on the top, of your signature and then also on the footer of your website so that's what I'm gonna teach you ready now I have a document that's going to be linked to the description of this YouTube video so check out the YouTube video description and a link to this document the links and the copy that you need and the code that you need is right here okay all right so the first thing I need you to do is make sure you either go to or create your own free Google account and access Google Drive. So let's say you've got a Gmail account, you've got a Google account, that's what you need, it's free. Um, and you're gonna go here to these little boxes, click on it and click on Drive, okay? That is Drive. Now, so just make sure you have access to that. Two, you are gonna download the following document. This is an information about brokerage services document for EXP. But we have to do some things to it. I want you to notice as you scroll down here, it says that EXP Realty is the um, broker and Sheila Dunnigan is your designated broker. And then it has your supervisor of sales, sales associate um, is also Sheila Dunnigan. This could be a managing broker in Texas that that is your direct supervisor, but it's okay if it just has the designated um, realtor's name there and license information. So everything you need is already here. What's not right is this last part. This isn't compliant to just have Sheila's name. This is for this is a placeholder, and you have to edit this. Okay, so. We're gonna download this document. You can see I've done it a few times, but I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna do it again just for you, dragging it to my desktop. And now I'm gonna open this up separately. Once I've downloaded, I've now opened it up. It's in my own computer program. I've got this preview site that lets me look at PDFs and also edit PDFs to some extent. And I'm just gonna click on this because this is an editable document. And I am going to change this to my own name. Um, I am going to put in my license number here. Yours is going to be different for Texas. Obviously, I'm just doing this to show you how it works for me. Um, you're going to put your own email address here. And your own phone number. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to export this as a PDF and re, you know, save it as a new name. I already made a document like this, so I'm gonna just um, call it two and save. So there, now it's saved to my desktop. I'm gonna close this out. You will also notice that I have this little notes, my notes section up. You should have um, you know, either a Word document or a Google document or a note document in your computer ready to paste some copy in. So that's the next thing we're gonna be doing here in a minute. Okay, close that out. So what we just did was we completed step one, we completed step two, and we completed step three. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating a folder in our Google Drive. And I'm just gonna copy this text here, 
KB Core Document Public Folder. So I want you to do the same. Copy that text. You're going to go to your Google Drive and you're going to click on New. And you're going to click on Folder. And then you're going to paste the folder name here. And now I'm going to open up this second one that I need. The next thing we have to do once we create this folder is we need to make this folder public so that anything we put in here, any documents we put in here, will be shareable and viewable on the web. So what you do is go to this little drop down menu and go to share and click on get shareable link. And then here we're going to share with others. We're going to use this little drop down, click on more. And we want to select this uh, public link, public on the web. Anyone on the internet can find and access, no sign in required. That's the one that you want selected and save. So again, anyone can access, no sign in required. And the way we have it is can view only. So they can't edit these documents, they can view them. Okay, just to clarify. All right, so now that is shareable. Um, if I hover over this, you'll notice it says public on the web, anyone can find and view. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that new document that we created, that IABS, that's ours, with our information, and we're going to drag it here. Now, just to double check it, you can really do that. But let me just double check it. I'm going to open it up. And just make sure it does, in fact, yep, have my information at the bottom now. So that's the link we're going to be sharing. These ellipses here, I don't really know what you call them, more actions. We're going to click on share. And we're going to copy this shareable link. And we're going to paste it right now, just right here in our little notes. Okay, so we're going to need that. Now what we're going to do that we've created, we've completed step four and we've completed step five is we are going to copy this code here and we're going to paste it in the notes that we've set aside. Here it is. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, that IABS document link that we already saved and we're going to replace that, that this text here um, that's in the code. So we're going to replace this text here with the new link. So what we're going to do is go back to our little notes section or Google document or Microsoft Word document. We're going to take our new link that we created and we're going to replace this text here with our new link. Notice I left the quote marks intact. So that is what it's going to look like, okay? Now, we've completed step six. Now we're going to go to step seven. In step seven, we're going to go to Web IDX, which is in your KB Core dashboard. Okay, so go to your KB Core dashboard and select Web IDX. We're going to now go to here in our website manager and click on edit settings. We're going to scroll down to custom footer. Custom header, custom body, custom footer. There it is. But so on your own website, where it's going to go. All the way. See this? It's going to go in this footer section. What we're going to do is go to our notes and we're going to copy all this code just like so. Then we're going to go back to our custom footer section and we're going to paste this code and save it. Okay? Then we will Go to uh, back to our website and hit refresh. Okay. 
And look at that. It's there. So let's make sure these work. So this first link is actually from what you guys call Trek down in Texas. And it's a link directly from Trek. And this is your um, consumer protection notice. Okay. And then the other one is your Texas Real Estate Commission information about brokerage services. And notice it is going to the Google Drive, that public um, document. And there it is. Okay, so we are good. We are fancy. We are rocking and rolling. Now, the next thing we have to do is we basically have to take those same links and link them to your signature. So all you have to do here is copy this text here, and you're going to go back to your KV Core platform. And go to the top right hand side drop down menu and click on my profile. Now you're going to go to edit your profile. And scroll down till you see your signature. Now we did um, copy that text. So right above the signature, what I want to do is I want to add that text. And then I want to add the links. So going back to my links here, this first link I'm going to copy. I'm not going to copy the quotes, just the link. And this is the actual text for the consumer protection notice. Let me delete this link to text here. I'm going to select this text and I am going to link it. Say okay. Um, before I say okay, you know where it says target right here? I'm going to click on new window. In other words, when if somebody clicks on that link, it will open up in a new tab and not go away from the email that they're looking at. Okay. So we got that link in there, notice. And then we're going to copy our other text, or I'm sorry, other link. And this is our IABS link. Get rid of this text where it says link text. Select it. Paste the URL. Open it in a new window and say OK and save. And now you can see that these two links are there right above the signature. And ta-da, you're now compliant in the state of Texas. Good job.